This one's too dry. This one's too cakey. This one creases. This one's too thin. This one's too thick. Wait, this one could be just right. Let's talk about the 10 best concealers that I have tested and love. Hi friends, do you ever feel like that? Like you just can't be Goldilocks with the concealer and find the one that's just right? Well, I have tested a ton of concealers and I'm bringing you five drugstore and five high-end concealers that work so well for me. They're ones that have the same theme in common and I'm hoping that you will get some out of here that you really wanna try and enjoy. So I'm gonna put a timestamp right here where those actual concealer reviews will start. As most of you know, I do review what I'm wearing for the day and my jewelry and different things. So this is the timestamp if you want to skip ahead and go ahead and do that now and you can go over this whole introduction. First of all, let's talk about what I have on today. How much fun is this? Now you're seeing I do have a black bra on underneath here, but because there's so many straps in this particular shirt, it didn't matter. And I love this. This is a light knit jersey feel shirt. I love this cold shoulder detail. This is what I'm always looking for in a shirt. I'm looking for something that fits a little bit nicer around my tummy because I have that tummy from losing the weight and being menopausal. And so I'm always looking for something that disguises that and I love this. All right, also I wanna show you my earrings which are all kinds of fun. They are kind of a geometric design with the rectangle on the back with the black and then the gold that sits on the front. I just, they're very, very lightweight. And I love a lightweight earring. It's what I'm always looking for. I didn't wear a necklace today, but I do have br two bracelets on that I'm really in love with. This one is um, kind of set into a gold setting, you know, or it's fake gold or I would never be able to afford it. It's got the rectangle baguettes right there. And then this one right here is just kind of an infinity hoop right there, or loop right there. And I really love the these. They went so well with what I was doing today. And as always, I will have all of the makeup that I'm wearing, my rings, my fingernail polish, everything like that that you ask about normally. I will have that listed and linked down below in the description box. As most of you know, but if you're new here, I do have a numbering system. I'm going to put up a number right here. That's the number three. Now, when I get to the number three product that we're going to be talking about today, I will hold that up. I will tell you what it is. And that product will correspond to whatever number is there. So this is number three product, number three on the screen. You don't have to remember what the product is or even the color or anything. All you have to do is remember that you liked number three. Go down and open up that description box. Look for the number three next to the number three. There will be the product with my color and the link that you can shop that way if you choose to. So what I thought we'd do today is I thought we would go one drugstore, one high-end, one drugstore, one high-end. However, I do want you to know that I do have a few requisites for for every single concealer that I do wear. Number one, they pretty much have to be full coverage because I have very, very dark circles. Now, that being said, I can get a full coverage out of just about any concealer that I do wear, even if it's a medium or light doing a very specific tip that I showed in another video just about a week ago. And I'll make sure that I list that video down for you below. It is just a game changer for me. It's something that has been so easy for me. And look through the comments because ladies had come back and they've said that they absolutely loved this particular way of doing their concealer and that it really has saved them, especially if you have fine lines and wrinkles and you normally have, you know, really a lot of creasing. It's worth it try. If it works, great. If it doesn't, right, you give it a try. All right, that being said, let's get into it. First of all, I want to talk about the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, but this is the hydrating formula. I have mine in light peach. It's a fairly good color for me. I do find that it's kind of hard to find the perfect color in e.l.f. This um, delivery system, most of these are going to be exactly the same. This is a larger doe foot applicator, kind of like the Tarte Shape Tape one maybe not quite that big. When I put this on, it's gonna give me great coverage. It's gonna feel a little bit creamy, a little bit hydrating, and it's gonna to continue to give me that great coverage throughout the day. And again, like I said, these are, I'm not gonna talk a lot about no creasing because there are only a few in here that truly are no creasing without using the method that I talk about. And I'm not going into depth about that, but I'm gonna to continue to refer to that method because it was such a game changer for me for creasing specifically. 
So definitely this is one that I love because of its hydration properties and because it's only $6 at the drugstore. They may have raised their price to $7 now, but this is a wonderful concealer and I have reached for it ever since it came out several years ago. Keep in mind, I'm not going in any particular order here. This one is from Shiseido and this is their Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Concealer. And I really do feel like it's self-refreshing in that it doesn't look cakey and dry after you put it on during the day. This is a beautiful coverage. This one is about a medium coverage, I would say. I would say that the e.l.f. one is a medium coverage too, but these are all very buildable depending on how much you need. And you can also thin them out by just using a very small amount if you don't have that many dark circles. I have been talking to a lot of you lately about the fact that they feel like they don't have dark circles. Ladies, if you don't have dark circles or they're very light, don't use concealer. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. Don't use it, you don't need it. Use your foundation, go up under there, make your, you know, everything blend, but don't, you don't necessarily need a concealer if you don't have dark circles. Personally, I have the black darkness from you know where. It's so bad, it's inherited, and I've tried everything to get rid of it, creams and whatnot, and you know, different diet, different things like that. It just doesn't work for me. I have those because of who my grandma is, but that's okay because I love my grandma and she gave me some really good things too. So this one from Shiseido is really wonderful. I have been loving wearing it. I got it in the small size because I do try so many things, but this one, if you are someone that has been wondering about it and you like the actual foundation this is so much like the foundation it's gorgeous on the under eyes the next one is one that i i pulled out and i had completely forgotten how much i absolutely adore this concealer at the drugstore this is the makeup revolution conceal and hydrate radiance concealer with hyaluronic acid this one is incredibly beautiful on my under eyes. I had forgotten how much I love this. And I'll tell you what, the next concealer that I'm gonna show you, I actually feel like it's a dupe for, and I'm gonna put it in a dupe video here pretty quickly. But this concealer just really blew me out of the water again. And I just had forgotten. This is a huge doe foot applicator, just like the other one was. The um, color is a little bit too light for me, but I do really appreciate it. Full coverage on this one I feel like I don't feel like it's one that you're going to have any problem getting the coverage out of it that you need but it's not going to be that cakey mess on you and it's going to really just dry down and it's going to be beautiful now this one I do feel like it will dry down and in the winter months you might not need to set it in the summertime is when we really need to be conscientious about you know sweating and things you know getting really creasing under there like right now I'm touching it and it feels almost dry dry like a foundation would right after you put it on and it's set already. So I love this. I think this is one for the price that you really do need to pick up and just give a try. Now, when I said I felt like it was a dupe for something, I feel like it's almost a dupe for my beloved Kosas Revealer Concealer. And by the way, all of these colors will be down below. And also what I feel like I use in the winter time and what I feel like I use in the summertime when I'm self tanning. So you know that I will put both colors down there for you. Now, Kosas was the one concealer that brought me out of hiding from con for concealers because several years ago on this channel, I had sworn off concealers and I was only using foundation under there. However, I never felt like I was completely getting that beautiful coverage that you really need to have in order for your, you know, not to peek through. And I was really self-conscious about that, but Kosas blew me away. And I still feel like that to this day. It has a smaller doe foot applicator than you find on most of the other ones, but this one, it just is so light and it feels so hydrating on your skin and it is a serum it has great skin loving benefits in it i have talked about this just so much on my channel but i feel like it is probably the best on the market right now but i do feel like this one from the hydrate one from makeup revolution is so close to it it really truly is in consistency in coverage in no caking i just i absolutely love it all right let's talk about another drugstore one the color pop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid concealer this one as well i feel like this gives such good coverage they have a huge shade range in this one 
I, I mean, they just, they have knocked that out of the park. So if you have a hard time finding a shade that you like, that you can really feel like looks good on your under eyes, you might try ColourPop's Pretty Fresh because they have so, so many. This concealer from ColourPop is more of a medium coverage. I really appreciate that about it too. It's a little bit thinner. I like that. It's not super heavy. That's one thing that I feel like can be a little bit of a drawback is when a concealer is super duper heavy. You can feel that and it's going to probably get a little bit cakey, but this one is not heavy and it's not going to get cakey, but you're still going to get super great coverage from it. And I really like that one. The next one I actually fought against buying for such a long time because of its price point. It's from Pat McGrath Labs and it is their Sublime Concealer. Now, I feel like Pat McGrath, Hourglass, Natasha Denona, I really do, and Charlotte Tilbury, I feel like they really are very overpriced. But if you find a product like this that you really like, and it's something that you're not buying all the time, like this too could easily last me up to a year. And so I feel like sometimes it's worth the splurge. And in this case, I really do feel like that. Doe foot applicator is smaller. It's got a little angle on it right there. It's a little bit thicker just a tiny bit than what we have on here already but it is the one that you can just spread it and you don't have to fuss with it and it really does look beautiful very effortless effortlessly and that's what i think is beautiful about it it doesn't dry down to where it's cakey and it looks terrible on your skin it is one that is that little bit thicker formula but the other ingredients in it make you feel like you've really got a nice hydration on there and that's important to me too when i'm looking for a concealer all right the next one i again i fought against this one because i don't like this particular foundation so i thought that the concealer would not work for me at all so this one is is the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer this one really stole my heart i was so shocked when i used this i could not believe how much i loved it i really think that this is one that has not been talked about in, at, enough and i feel like the people that were using it and saying that it was too drying for them they weren't doing their due diligence and making sure that their skin was hydrated beforehand. That video that I was talking about where I did the application and the little tip, it also talks about how important hydration is. I will link below the eye cream that I use. Now, lots of people say you don't need a separate eye cream. I don't use it as skincare. This is simply a moisturizer that's gonna hyper moisturize that under eye area, actually all around my eyes before I put on my makeup because I need that to sink in and be so plumped up before I go in with any concealer, it's not going to look good. This one, I feel like does not dry down and it doesn't self-set like these uh, some of these other ones that we're talking about. However, I feel like the finish on it was so pretty and it didn't look cakey and it didn't dry me out. And those are definitely my requisites for having a really good concealer. By the way, I guess I should probably tell you what I have on my eyes today. This eye right here does have on the Makeup Revolution right here and this eye has on this one and this one is from rare beauty and this is her concealer i love her packaging first of all i just think that this is a really great brand it is a you know a higher end brand but I don't feel like her prices are so high that nobody can touch it. This has a little bit of a different applicator on it. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of wonky, but it does dip down right there and it gives you a little well. This is a beautiful concealer and I'm running out of places. Let's try the other hand, even though I'm not too good at that. Let's try this hand. This one I feel like has definite medium buildable coverage. So you know that. I also feel like it is one that's not going to cake on you, but this one you're going to have to set a little bit, no matter whether you're in the winter or in the summer, you know, a little bit of setting spray, a little bit of powder, whichever works for you the best, but it's such good coverage with its formula that it doesn't really matter how much you use. If you need more than, you know, some say some gal that doesn't need very much, you can put more on and it doesn't get that cakey. And all of these, they are layerable. Um, actually, the way that I talk about in that other video for you to do your concealer, you will not 
feel like you ever have to do a layering again but this one from rare beauty it really is beautiful like i said it's very hydrating it will not leave you cakey or looking dry or even accentuating if you have those lines and wrinkles underneath there the next one is from catrice and this is the 18 hour hydrating true skin high coverage concealer and it says it's waterproof now i do feel like it's waterproof i love this one in the summer because it does have that claim and it's that means that you're going to not have to set it as much with powder or anything else it's going to have that dry down factor in it but because it is hydrating and it has the hydrating properties in it it's not going to dry you out this one is a beautiful coverage i have loved this one ever since it came out i was really impressed with their shade range as well they have a great shade range this is a really nice concealer for the summer because it is that waterproof so if you sweat you get hot you know you want to go to the pool i don't know if it would completely hold up under waterproof conditions but i do feel like it really does hold up a long long time in the heat like we're having right now like it was 104 the other day here at my house and it's just like oh my gosh okay the technically last one is again one that i fought against because of its price point and i was like you know it's overhyped it's one of those brands that i feel like come on you know do we really need to have this overhyped I freaking love the Hourglass Concealer. I absolutely fell in love with this. I actually got a sample of it, a little tiny one from Sephora as a trial thing. And I was like, this is beautiful. I can't believe that I fought this hard against it. Now the doe foot is just, you know, kind of flat, um, comes to a little bit of a point there. I like this one very, very much. And I think that the color of it is perfect for me right now. The texture of this is perfection for me and the hydration benefit of it. Mature under eyes will love this. And I can say that of all of these. Yes, this is a $30 tube, but again, I feel like in a lot of ways, it's very worth it. It just had that hydration factor in it and it had the factor of being one that it was seamless. It, I hardly had to work with it. It just covered in a fairly thin coat, um, but at the same time, it really gave me that high beautiful coverage that really nothing peeked through and that is something saying something when i'm looking at a concealer now technically that's where i should stop but i'm going to give an honorable mention to two concealers right here the first one is the giorgio armani this one is the power fabric one this like moves with your skin so it's a beautiful coverage a beautiful way that it doesn't cake it's just gorgeous all the way around but it actually moves with your skin as well now this one is probably a lot more than even the hourglass one i can't remember but it's just it's pretty it's just really pretty i've had it for a long time i use it I, it goes through my rotation i'm not somebody that discriminates between high-end luxury or drugstore however i lean towards drugstore because i want to get the best bang for my buck like i think that this giorgio armani it, it deserves a place here because it is such a special um, concealer and I really love it. But at the same time, you can go over and you can go to NYX, which everybody's flipping their lid for, and the new serum concealer. I had to put this one in here. This is an extremely thin, thin formula, and everybody is talking about it because of that. It has that fantastic coverage without having to be a super thick formula. It's not even really a medium formula, it's very thin. So this is beautiful. I love it. I use it all the time, and again, it's one that had to be put in here even though this technically makes 12 i really wanted to make sure that i gave those two an honorable mention now what do you think about all of these that i've talked about today are there some that you already have that you use and you love are there some in here that you're thinking about trying that you might have questions for me about let me know all that in the comment section below i'd be happy to answer anything right now i'm going to put up another video right here that will be that video that i just talked about about that technique i'm going to put that right here so that you can can go ahead and take a look at it. Thanks so much for being with me today. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in my very next video. Love you much friends. Bye-bye.